as I said, you know, are not a key people of Maralinga. But I've been, I'm a chairman of Maralinga. The key people of the Maralinga is the old people who want to come back home, where they can settle, where they can go to rest. You know, when they get old, people want to sleep. They want to go back. They want to die, you know. And that's what they done. Oh, you. It was a key people. I was born in the 50s. I heard a lot of stories people told me about Maringa. And Mar And they tested the bomb there, Maringa. But people did not, the people did, didn't have rights in those days. They didn't have rights. The soldiers from British and the Australian government, which are soldiers, made agreement to go ahead and test the bomb. And then because we had no rights in those days. The smoke went up high. The wind blows. It carries a few. I think in the in in the in the Apri Wildland there are people who got sick too. Not only Melbourne, there's people out there living surrounding community. Right through the western Australia, the smoke went all over and made people sick. People are begin, beginning to get cancer. People are beginning to get sick. Some people even die so quick, or, or, or have lost, lost their life. There are so many people who have lost their lives through the radiation. The history is a sad history. But we don't look at the history, the sad history, but we learn from the history. But but here in our country, we look at the good side of the the good things to come. There is a reason, good things to come, like getting land back from the government, going back to the land, resettling. There is a no more sorrow and weeping. There is a healing of going back, healing. These are the things bring joy to the people, you know? And, and also the British who are paying compensation back to the people. That is uh, resolving the problem and the healing is coming there, coming back to the people. You know, we don't look at the pain, we look at the healing. There's good things to come.